Welcome to Technique Friday with Els. Today's technique uses the ladybug die from Josette's designs with the velvet adhesive sheets. I love it when that ladybug feels velvety. So that's why I use the velvet adhesive sheets. And I use the sampler pack. So that has all the 10 different colors in it. And it has adhesive on the back. So that's why it's so easy to use. I want to show you a few more things before I start. That's also That are also great using the velvet adhesive sheets. So the strawberry, of course, great to use the velvet adhesive sheets. And for words. So when you want to die cut words, because it has adhesive on the back then right away. So you don't need to work with the glue. And it also has that really nice soft feeling to it. Uh, I'm going to give you a few tips as well in this YouTube. So um, first of all, I get a lot of questions uh, when they see people see me traveling around with these. So uh, what I use, I use a photo box and I have some magnetic sheets. I cut those in the size of the photo box and that's how I transport my dyes, especially when I travel. It's very easy. So, um, and here you can see the ladybug. So the ladybug dyes actually comes in four different pieces. So it has the solid two different overlays and it has an extra set of wings and I'm going to show you why we have that extra piece in there. So here I have the ladybugs and the velvet adhesive sheets. So first of all, when you die cut the velvet adhesive sheets, you don't want to put your die on here and run it through your machine. You, you want to cut it in a, the shape of the die. Reason for that is, so I just cut around it and that's how I run it through my machine. Because if you have plates, if you use plates that are well loved as we say, uh, when you run this through like all the way and with the face with the velvet, you will see the lines of your plates, they will show up in your velvet because they're so soft. So always cut it, cut the velvet in the shape of the die or the, the size of the die that you're going to use. Uh, so that's that one. And I already cut them here for you. So I have the solids here, two solids, two overlays, all cut in the velvet. And here I have that extra set of wings. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to take that overlay, you see, so that's already adhesive on the back. And I'm going to line it up on that black and that black, the extra wings I cut out of black cardstock because I don't want that to be sticky on the back. And I'm going to show you why. So here I have, so now I have that extra set of wings. This one is just like the overlay and I'm going to show you, I'm going to use this like flat. So I take this off. So now this is sticky and this is the velvet. So I'm just going to put this on here, stick this on here. And then you have your, and I kind of intend to kind of start at the tip of the wing to line it up. Kind of works for me. So you see, so now this is flat and I can just take this off and this has adhesive on the back. I can use my fine pointed tweezers for that as well here and I can just stick this on here. You see, so now I have a ladybug just sticking flat on that scalloped circle. So for the other one, when you want to use those extra wings, what I like to use when I use something like, like a butterfly or leaves, or I want to shape it a little bit. And as you can see here, I have dimension here. So it's more like a flying ladybug if you want to. And I like to use the clear silicone. So that's just, you know, it's this is GE, but just like hardware store, like clear silicone for that. So what I'm like to do is, so I just do a blob here, because if you use dimensions, like it's going to be like flat. So it's going to be dimensional, but it's going to be like flat on that ladybug. And I don't want that. So I do two blobs of um, the silicone here. And then I'm going to take a small piece of tape for the top. So that's just the smallest tape that we have. I'm going to take this off. And then I'm going to take my tweezer, turn it around. And then I'm going to line it up on my ladybug. So here, I'm going to do that. You see, and I just press it down here. And then you have the dimension here. So that's why you have that extra. So you can either do it flat like this one, or you can give a dimension with that extra set of wings using that clear silicone. And that's what I did with this one. You see, so here I have that dimension here. So that's it for this Friday. I hope you like it and see you again next time. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.